Hey Aquarius, it's Nicola. So we'll be working on your weekly read for February the 10th through the 16th. Let's see what messages we have in love for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to draw on your energy, your partner's energy, if there is a partner, um, and the outcome of this week. Let's see what messages we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, February the 10th through February the 16th. We're picking up on potential partners, whatever. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. February the 10th through the 16th, 2019. What guidance messages do we have and love for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? February the 10th through February the 16th, 2019. All right. Sacrifice. Hmm. So some of you guys may be in stagnation here. Not in stagnation, in suspension. Not in stagnation, but in suspension. Maybe um, trying to identify or have identified what needs to be sacrificed. Some of you guys have are resisting. Uh, mm, so some of you guys are resisting. You have been in stagnation. You may be moving toward uh, something that you wish for. You've laid. The, someone is worried. Someone is dramatically worried someone feels stuck trying to find the courage to leave a situation some of you guys are moving towards something balanced you're leaving a situation that there has been a lot of battles within very whew. so this is my second reading for you guys the first one my mom calls y'all know if it gets cut off in the beginning like if it gets cut off on the end i'm gonna go ahead and keep that message and just put your attach your guidance onto that but if you get cut off in the in the beginning or close to the middle i'm starting over so i started over and and not so many i mean not so many drastic words of hers i mean it was like blah blah you know now it's kind of like eh but still, same message. This is a fortunate ending. Whatever has just ended for you, whatever you sacrificed so that you can move forward, it was fortunate. Very fortunate for you. Some of you guys have moved forward towards something new. You're moving, Queen of Wands, Star card, to your wish fulfillment, Aquarius. You're moving toward, you're finding the confidence to move toward your truth, your happiness. It's a beautiful thing. Unraveling, beautiful thing here. Unraveling, ten of wands in reverse, which is not common within these cards. They usually aren't in reverse, but ten of wands in reverse in the middle of the read. So somebody's laid down some motherfucking burdens. Um, there has been a severance. Someone's found the strength to lay down some burdens. You may have found the strength to lay down the burdens of this person here in the middle to go towards something more balanced. They are overly obsessed overly obsessed with this and they're willing to fight to keep this from happening because they feel betrayed good luck good luck like i'm telling you this is a fortunate end because this person here is very 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 much uh within the wrong spectrum of passion meaning this is negative passion this is obsession so nine of cups here why is this nine of cups here Happiness, no longer concerned, moving in a new direction. You are, you are. <laughs> Nine of Cups here. Why is this Nine of Cups here? Nine of Pentacles. So you're no longer concerned, gained your independence from this imbalanced type of bullshit. Yep. Could have been dealing with the water sign here, moving away from that. Queen of Cups, Six of Swords, nurturing yourself, making time for yourself. Ten of Pentacles, you got out of that situation, that family situation for some of you guys. Moving forward, Queen of Wands. Some of you guys may be moving toward a Taurus here, making a sacrifice here, finding the strength to move away from a relationship. Queen of Wands here. Why is this Queen of Wands here? Why is this Queen of Wands here? Why is this Queen of Wands here? Queen of Swords here, making a decision. Ace of Pentacles to move towards something new. King of Wands, you're focused on a new life. You're focused on moving forward. So you're taking on the, whether male or female, you're taking on this Queen of Wands energy and really, Aquarius, taking on this Queen of Wands energy and really focused on moving in a new direction for yourself. Motivated about moving toward a new cycle. Motivated about moving toward what, you, what you're hoping to move toward. Whether this is wish fulfillment whether this is balance, 
within a relationship, whether this is balance within your life, you're sacrificing what you don't want, standing up for yourself and moving toward what you do. So this is a very fortunate ending for you. All right. Why is this here? Star card, star card, wish fulfillment. Two times. So, so you see that moving forward brings wish fulfillment. Ace of Swords here, strength. Finally, you found the strength. You're no longer concerned with the past. You're no longer concerned with resisting your happiness. You're finding the strength to move forward. Oh, well, all right. Well, all right. Let's get this first row up. Let's see what we got going on here. What's going on with this person here that may be needing to... Find the strength to release the burdens and heal from this connection. Nine of Wands here. Why is this Nine of Wands here? Someone's, it has been through a lot. Letting the burdens go though. This could be a mutual thing. This could be a mutual uh, balancing out of a relationship. If both parties decide that they've been through enough together that they want to move away, the severance will take place. Boundaries will be set. Knight of Swords, there could be a communication about setting boundaries um, and releasing resistance, releasing um, oppression. Ten of Wands here. Why is this Ten of Wands here? Why is this Ten of Wands here? Hierophant, Hermit, someone could be um, going with them. Oof. Hierophant, Hermit, Devil. So someone could be going within themselves about a relationship, about releasing the burdens within a relationship. Someone could be releasing worries within a relationship and severing a connection, meaning allowing their concerns to fade away. Um, hmm. So the person that you're moving away from may be a Taurus, maybe a Capricorn here, maybe a Virgo here, but there's a fear here. No, these three major players, this may have been the burden. This could have been um, three major people within this connection, and that may be the burden. Someone may be feeling betrayed by that, especially if you're moving toward a third party because we got three different signs here in regards to this. Now, someone could be searching for a way to get out of the toxicity of a relationship. That is what it is. So someone sacrificing the burdens of a toxic ass relationship and moving forward. Bam. Bam. Three of swords here. And it could have been third party now. Because it gets the guy the three of swords. It's a severance here. Uh, five of pentacles. Yeah. Okay. 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 Five of Pentacles, five of Wands. There was some conflicts within the connection. So, yeah, there was conflicts about money, conflicts about passions. Someone's at a crossroads now really kind of tying up the loose ends. So both parties here, there they could be there could be some fighting. Someone's moving away from there, not wanting to fight anymore. I'm done. The f I'm out. Like no longer wanting to, to put effort into that so you could be allowing your concerns to fade away your ex-partner or your previous partner prior partner whatever may still be um in this i'm willing to fight and like i'm saying it's not in, in a positive way someone's making a, a a sacrifice to get out of that toxic toxicity you may be finding balance here could be dealing with the libra why is justice here this could be the end of a situation the severance of a situation. Someone could be weighing their options, feeling as though it's time here to move forward. Nine of Wands, King of Pentacles. Someone could be, yep, Eight of Wands, underlying energy here. Someone could be finding the strength to move forward um, within a connection, not wanting to give in to imbalances anymore, wanting to move forward. Someone wants to move forward. Someone could be moving toward a tour. Someone could be um, moving within themselves contemplating doing a little meditation here and maybe be even resisting being trapped so someone has did a lot of contemplation about this resisting being trapped this test came there's a third party involved somewhere in this um three of cups here page of cups could be someone new that you're looking toward this could have been what put this in motion judgment making a decision world card eight of pentacles someone's making a decision to work on a relationship with someone new that's the decision here so before I go on with my guidance, it is Aquarius season. So you guys like to think, my thinkers. So the first Aquarian to put in the comments 
what zodiac sign I am will receive a free birthday reading from me. The very first Aquarian, you have to be an Aquarius, the very first Aquarian to put in the comments, my zodiac sign will receive a free birthday reading from me. So let's see what messages, what guidance we have in love for my Aquarius. What guidance do we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What guidance do we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What guidance do we have for Aquarius? Y'all, my baby birthday on the 6th. I'm so excited. He'll be 14. Some of you guys are dealing with past life relationships. Someone from the past may be invoking some some passion within you. So you may be elevating with this person going through some sort of honeymoon phase. You and this person may be separated at the moment because there is a union that has to take place. This is all I have. Until next time, y'all. Peace.